So this is Northwind looking ahead. This is like a prelude to the roadmap. So, fuck no. So let's... Mm. So let's... Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Hello! Today we'd like to share with you some of our development progress for Northwind. Some of you may be aware that we plan to shift the focus of the game from a small sandbox island to a collection of islands to explore and discover. We plan to make most of our game systems and to expand the content and experience for players. Okay, so I I didn't know that. Um, I totally thought with all the updates they had with the parties and the buildable forts and whatnot, I thought they were going in like a faction, like a fucking like like a faction route. You know, I thought they were gonna like add like capture points in and like additional weapons and shit in for like faction fights and you know a whole faction system. But apparently, it's all centered around new islands, which is really cool to expand the map. Um, Personally, I, I had no problem with the mapping the size it is. I mean, it worked for Northern Frontier. That game lasted three years with a map that didn't expand. I don't see much of a problem with Northwind's map not expanding, but I think it's really cool that they want to expand the map, you know? it That's just, it's a cool concept, you know? It's new content. I love new content. Everyone loves new content. Let's move on to the second paragraph. As it is, we are aware that it isn't easy to start off as a fresh player in James Bay. They've got the cold, the rivers, and the mountains to cross in order to make some pounds and acquire gear. In the future, players will start in a more welcoming environment, learning what they can do in the game while more easily acquiring the things they need to better survive in the world. Additionally, they will be encouraged to explore the many environments they will be. Eh, that will be added aside from the one they started, different climates. Players will be able to reach islands within a climate using the boats and canoes that have been added, as well as new ships. Oh, that's fucking cool. Travel between climate areas. With uh, the addition of new islands, players will have sufficient amount of space to settle down using the building system, which will have permanent saves. So, a couple big points in that. That's, that's a really cool paragraph. Essentially, they're saying, first off, we're going to have a tutorial, which is awesome for new players. Tutorials are cool. Tutorials will give players starter gear. That's really, really cool. I remember how hard it was for me to start out with Northwind. Second, it looks like we're getting new boats, which is all, oh, mm, man, awesome. I, since the beginning, I've, I've been saying to friends and whatnot that if Northwind had more of like a Treyland style boat experience, not like, not like, not like literally trade lands, trade lands, but like mounting things on boats and putting more crates on boats and having boats like be a little bit larger. The game would benefit so much from that because it's just such a cool concept. I mean, trade lands done Northwind style is just such a cool concept to me. So I'm fucking pumped that we'll get new boats. And then lastly, it looks like the different islands are going to have climates and such, which is kind of a cool concept. I mean, I don't really understand how that's going to work because this is all like icy tundra era area of like fucking North America, Canada. I'm not sure how they're going to have different climates, but that, that'll that be interesting to see. We'd like to add that we plan to add a Robux store in game near future. True to our previous word, it'll be used to sell cosmetic items which fit the theme of Northwind while not um, providing pay-to-win benefits to players. In-depth character editing will also be available through the Robux store. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like just the same thing they did Northern Frontier, although Northern Frontier, they, they sold actual game items, which is kind of... I was not a fan of the amount of shit that was purchasable in Northern Frontier, but with Northern Frontier, you could purchase cosmetics, uh, for those not familiar. You could purchase cosmetics, you could purchase bank space, you could purchase things that helped you in-game and things that were just cosmetics. It looks like the devs are just limiting that to like purely cosmetics, which is really cool. I'm really glad about that. Um, you know, like, fucking... You shouldn't be able to pay like a, a couple bucks and up your game experience. You know that, that's. I was never a fan of how that worked in Northern Frontier. That's fucking hell. It's been so long. I can't even say the name. Yeah. It, oh man. I'm I'm very glad. Cosmetics are always cool. All right. And then we've got fuck you. Then we've got the final paragraph, which is a little disclaimer. Remember that the game is still newly accessed. Now we know the game isn't perfect in many ways. It has been our focus these past months to advance the game to the next stage, with perfection coming later. Please keep in mind that the lack of marketing is something we have done on purpose and not something we have overlooked. Uh, time will come when we decide to properly market our game for the masses. We hope that you all are excited for these changes that we are, and welcome you to ask questions in the comments below. So that's interesting. Um, they're saying that they're, you know, leaving some things not fixed, some things unrefined for, for, for later, and to be perfectly honest, I haven't seen much broken or unrefined, you know? 
the game's pretty solid, even with this, you know, as they describe it, this, like, crappy work. Like, the game works, you know? it. I don't see glitches. And so, I don't know. I think I think they need to cut themselves some slack. We got some fucking fantastic devs. Yeah, this will be very interesting. I, I don't have a time frame for when this update's released. Uh, this is, like, the course of the next couple months what they're planning on giving out. So, it looks fucking cool, I'm going to be honest. I am incredibly excited for new boat types.